Hello, I'm Amy, I'm from Kingston Library and welcome to another session of Kingston Library's live book reviews. The book that I'm going to talk to you about today um, is a book that I devoured in one sitting because it is just really quite lovely. So that book is A Spool of Blue Thread by Anne Tyler. Um, let me just read the blurb for you so you get an idea of what it's about. It was a beautiful, breezy, yellow and green afternoon. This is the way Abby Whitshank always begins the story of how she and Red fell in love that summer's day in 1959. The whole family on the porch, half, half listening, as their mother tells the same tale they've heard so many times before. From that porch, we spool back through the generations, witnessing the events, secrets and unguarded moments that have come to define the family. From Red's father and mother, newly arrived in Baltimore in the 1920s, to Abby and Red's grandchildren, carrying the family legacy, legacy uh, boisterously into the 21st century. Four generations of Witchanks, their lives unfolding in and around the sprawling, love, lovingly worn Baltimore house that has always been their home. It's just really lovely. The one thing that I like about Anne Tyler is that her writing is very accessible. Um, she tends to write very realistic stories, um, but she writes them very honestly. So. Uh, Abby is the kind of character that you'll fall in love with because she'll celebrate all of the high points of her life and she'll grieve all of the bad and you get to share in that entire experience with her. Um, it's it's really beautifully written. I read this on a really hot summer's day a couple of years back, read it in one sitting and just felt at peace with the world for a bit because Abby's storytelling was, it was everything that you needed on a hot summer's day. Um, I feel like this is also the kind of book that a lot of people will need right now. It's not a high stake book. There's not really anything massively tragic that happens. You know, you've got your ups and downs in it as most family life does. Um, but really it's it's just a celebration of Abby and Red's life together. And it is really quite an honor to be able to share in that with them. Uh, so this book is available on Libby, which you can download on the App Store. Uh, you can also access it by going to kingston.gov.uk forward slash online underscore library. Um, have a read of it, let me know what you think, and if you enjoy it as much as I do, pop a comment down below. We'll see you next time. Bye.